sometimes you're like, man, I can fight this boss. And you know what? You really can't. You can't fight this boss. You'll die. And you know, that's just, that's fine. So what you have to do is accept that you are a total failure and that the fact that you have paired, that you were born into this world was just luck since you have no right to beat this boss as of how big of a failure you are. So I need a train. <laughs> and yeah, that, that's basically just my story. I'm gonna go to this island because I believe there's stronger stuff on this island. I don't even remember. I'm gonna level up for a little bit because I'm so oh, that's right. Hello, everybody. My name is Grandpa Lecky. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy V More Job Hangovers. And last time we fought a cannon and died twice. Oh god. So this time we're gonna fight a cannon and hopefully not die at all. Because that'd be very sad. Big deeps. I thought it died for a second. Gust! Oh god. Well, I'm glad to see that Geomancer is just the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh yeah, this time I'm just gonna... My god, what are these? Thank you, Jason, finally. Oh, come on, Jason! You're so bad at this. Maybe they're weak to a different type of magic. Oh, I know what I should do. Level halves. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Kick him! After he's done kicking them. Dog Spark. Level halved. Alright. Ah, you can't do it anymore, sucker. Let's see what these guys are weak to real quick. Uh -huh. Level 22. 132 out of 220 HP. Vulnerable to water. Okay, then let's try bolts. I know it's not water, but it's something. Come on. Nope. Alright, let's try... Sleep. Please, just do something. Anyway, I'm gonna be fighting these things for a while. Like, even once I'm done with these, I'm probably gonna make everybody have kick. That seems to be doing the most damage every now and then. And I'm just gonna be training until I level up maybe two times. That should be enough. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's okay, the Fiesta Run will not die. We will finish this. I'm sure. Jason. We will survive. Oh my god! Don't train against these things! Just don't. This is the same fight, and it's been a good 10 minutes. I've just been spamming click. Just, just trust me and don't train against these things. Unless they give you like 50 BP. Then don't. Anyways, if you guys were wondering what I'm- I'm not really aiming for a level, I'm mostly aiming for... Jason to mess- get, to get his next level in Red Mage. Because then... Sorry, Jason. Oh, that was worthless. Sorry, Jason, but you are going to become... a Geomancer. And you'll probably be one for a while. So sorry, Jason. Them's the breaks, as they say. So I'm going to train in the water, where I can just click Bolt 2 and usually win. Usually. I think the bird won't die to this, but the others should. Okay, never mind. Whirlpool! Okay, you know what, just ignore me. Eventually I will... I will kill something, like the Sahagin, he's dead. Been punched. See, I am good at my job. 
Anyways, I, I will be back now after I do some more training. But I want to show that these things are a lot faster to fight than the stupid Dark Sparks. Hopefully. My god. These things have like a super high evasion and high magic resist, but they die in like one hit. So... Maybe this place is not good to train either! My gosh. Just gotta hope for- There we go, now it's dead. Yep. 300 gil, under 40 experience, one battle- Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll find a spot to train. Right? Nice. This is weird, I just wanna see- I wanna see if I can surf on top of the, um... On top of- oops, that was ice too. That was the wrong spell. I want to see if I can surf on top of the, uh, the entrance to the, uh, underground spot. Whoa! Oh, that was useless. One side and down. Two Sahagans down. And now we just... Oh. Oh, Jason's almost dead. Here. Take that, buddy. You did good, son. Rest up. Tsunami! Thank God. Alright, so let's see. Can I just surf on top of this? Nope. You have to... So this is still the hardest part of the game. Landing on this. Anyways, guys, I will see you next next time. No, I will see you when I get back from training. I'll just watch some old Inferno videos. Oh, I got it! Oh, I got it twice! Oh. It is time, Jason, to forsake your red clothes to become Santa's workshop. Also, to get level four <laughs> to master red page, you need 999. Ooh. Ooh. 999 job points. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, Jason, it's been really fun. But someone's gotta be the Geomancer with the good skills. And sadly, that person is you. Thank you, Jason, for bearing this mantle. You poor soul. And because Jason is no long well, Jason is no longer red mage, we will put the red mage task to Ferris. Now the reason I did this again is because um Oh man, that's the pits. Fair hand. The reason I did this again was actually no. I actually no. Grant, what are you trying to say? Um, the reason I did this again was because once you get to the level 3 of Red Mage, you unlock uh, Red Mage level 3 as an ability. Um, as you can see here, perform white or black magic. That means Jason can now cast Fire 2, Ice 2, Bolt 2, Cure 2, all that jazz. Um, even though he's a Geomancer, while Ferris could only do it, um, oh yeah, you can swap them around. Well, Ferris could only do it with a, um, with basic level spells. Now, I am going to, um, keep Jason in the front. Because he is our captain. There we go. Anyway, now we have three people that can cast high level black magic and high level white magic. As well as, compared to last time we tried fighting the giant cannon of death, we were all two levels lower. So, theoretically, this should go well. What should go well? You all know.
The burden that lies in front of me. The troubles in my path. I got lots of money. Thank you. Oh, I actually am out of those. Oh. I was out of those, at least. Potions. I'm just delaying the inevitable right now. Don't worry about me. Oh, that reminds me. Um, equip with the diamond bell. And yes, it does have worse stats, but it uses magic as the attacking stat, so it's worthwhile. Um, I'm going to give you the uh, um, flail, so you can attack full power from the back row. I'm gonna put Lena in the front. All right. Now the first thing I'm going to do when I step into this long, glorious field is save. So yeah, I've been at it for about half an hour. There we go. Let's do this thing. Bum, 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 bum. Alright everybody, welcome back to the Soul Cannon and launch your boss fight. Now if you remember correctly, what the goal here is to do is first take down the launchers. Ignore the Soul Cannon. The launchers cause the most deadly effect, and that's the one that causes age on the- No, crap, I wasted a turn. The Soul Launchers cause the age effect. And the age effect makes it so that your stats steadily decrease throughout the fight. Now watch, Gallus gonna be old. And Lena's gonna be old. You can tell they're old because their hair went white. Um, in addition, they just do half of your hit points each time they hit. And that's very deadly. Over time, especially because the um, effect that of uh, the Diffusion Cannon causes your HP to slowly, steadily decrease throughout the fight. Now I'm gonna attack all because I'm pretty sure the first launcher we've been targeting is almost dead. Uh, it sucks that Jason just got aged. You can't tell, but trust me, he is. Uh, thank God they, they haven't attacked Ferris yet. The first, okay, the, fir the first launcher is down. Bolt two, the movie sequel nobody wants. Barrel pressure rising. It's almost time for the first attack from that guy. Hold two. Let's keep dropping these. Nice. Now it's just the soul cannon. And as such, we are going... At... Oh, if you remember from last time, you cannot defend this attack. If you try to defend, you will still take full damage. Everybody is currently aging except Ferris, which means that their spells and damage output are slowly going to be decreasing in potency throughout the fight. Yep. Blast shielding activated. Now the Soul Cannon is still weak to Bolt, um, unlike the launchers. And compared to last time we did this fight, we have everybody out right now. I believe everybody's at full HP, but just in case. Ah, oh, man, that's already hit below 100. That should be doing, like, 160. Energy cells 128, that means it's about to fire. Go stand his Jason's shop. Punch it! Mm, that was doing a lot more earlier. Firing. Wave cannon. Now, because the wave cannon went off, everybody's HP is slowly going to be increasing throughout the fight. As of such, we're going to be keeping Ferris on healing duty while letting everybody else do damage. Which sucks because I'd rather have Ferris do the fighting because she does the most damage. But the other two, I believe the, the combined efforts of the other two magic casters right now are going to be doing more than Ferris would. I'd rather, so as such, I'd rather have her healing. I'll probably have Jason heal everybody this turn as well. We can't fall behind the- if we get hit by this wave cannon too many times, we will lose. 
Well, I mean, we're going to be hit by it at least two more times in this fight. This thing has a lot of HP, if I remember correctly. So let's keep the healing up. Okay. No! Ah! I wasted a turn. Ah, man. I'm impatient. We're gonna get blasted by another one of these soon, so we gotta keep the heals up. There's no way to heal H without Asuna. And we don't have Asuna because that's a white mage exclusive skill. Sadly, even though I went out of my way to grab it. The only way that we can heal this aging effect really is if one of them dies and we heal them. Um, with the Phoenix down or the Raise spell. Full 2. We're all at full, pretty much full HP except Gallif right now. Bolt 2. Nice. Good deeps. It's gonna fire any second now. Gallif is basically useless. Okay. Here too. Man, this fight is so stressful. I knew this would be the stopping. The the this would be a major issue for my party because I I'm going. I don't want to break rods. Because breaking rods would make this fight too easy. It'd make a lot of things in this game too easy. So I don't want to do that. I'm actually gonna have Gallop use an item real quick. Elixir up on Ferris. I want to keep her MP full. I'm not sure if we needed it yet. We probably didn't, but it's nice to keep it up. Okay. Red magic. Bolt 2. Remember, every second I'm in the menu, it's still ticking down HP, so I have to move fast. If I lose another one of these fights, I'll probably turn off active mode, which means that the HP will no longer tick down while I'm in the menus. Oh god, it's about to fire again. I don't think we're going to have time to get another heal off. So I think we're going to lose somebody. Oh, I forgot to put Lena in the back row for this fight. Whoops. In all honesty, I wouldn't mind if Gallop died. Yep, I'm fine with that. We're losing a person. Heal quick. Good. Got some nice healing off. Let's do another one of them. Alright, and I'm gonna have to ch waste a turn to put Lennon in the back row so she can take- Actually, no, we have time. Do we? Do we have time, though? No, we don't really. Raise. You raise me up, Jason. Or I raise you up. Stand up and fight! Wait, is it about to fire again? That might have been a mistake. No, no, we're good. We have another turn or two. Heal Jason. Good. Now, Jason, heal everybody. Here, too! This should be at full capacity. Oh, it's not! The age effect still. Aww. Oh. Might have wasted a turn then. <sighs> Oh my gosh, why is this fight so impossible? It's not even worth it. Okay, I don't want to do this, but I am going to turn the, um, the... I'm going to go into the options and turn the mode back to, um... <sighs> going to turn the battle mode back to wait, I think it's called. I don't want to do this. Whoops. Yep. Double check one more time. I don't want to do that, but it should conserve HP, I think. I think that's how it works. <sighs> My gosh. I know you guys don't want to keep watching me throw myself at this boss fight with no success. Fusion Barrel Cannon Online. Okay, just 
Started down these launchers. Do not waste a turn with Gaia. That costs us, I think, a lot in the long run. The launchers aren't weak to any spells, so it doesn't matter which one you do. There we go. Nice crit. That was an amazing crit. We're probably gonna get somebody aged. Oh wait, no! I think we can do this. Maybe. Yes, I think we can actually get it this through this without having anyone aged. Okay. This should be perfectly fine. I'm curious. Uh, I don't want to waste the time. Alright, hold two. Good. This, this should be the one where we do it. Should be. Right after this boss battle, I'm going to swap it back to a weight, though, because I- or active, because I don't like, um, I like challenging myself, and so unless that we get another fight like this, it wouldn't be an issue, really, if, if I didn't have to deal with the- ah, I click defend. I always mess that up. And it really wouldn't be an issue unless- but because of that- whatever that effect is, it's not poison, because poison has its own name, and it does less damage over time. But I don't know what that constant decrease in health is called, but whatever it is, it does way too much damage over time for me to keep up with with my pinnacle healing magic. Or like, here too, I don't know how you do this fight without without a healer. I just don't. I don't see it as possible. Without breaking rods and just complete out DPS again. I don't know. Either way. Now that we can just lay on the hurt with everybody because nobody's been aged. Nobody's even hurt right now. We're just laying on the hurt. This should be the time we finally do it. Knock on wood. There we go. Um, just so you guys know, we cannot look at their, um, we cannot look at the, uh, at its remaining HP. At this point in time, I think most bosses won't let you look at how much HP they have remaining. There's that damage taking down effect, so I'm gonna just test it real quick to make sure white's working. So, red at 310-ish. 300. Yeah, it's working. Awesome. I was looking at Lena's HP to, to test it. So now I can just waste as many time, as much time as I want in this menu, and no harm will come from it. And that, I know that sounds like what I'd want to do, but I, I like the pressure. Because it makes me, like, rush, and I might misclick. And it's like in the heat of the moment, you might, if you were in, if this was real life, you might mess up and cast the wrong spell. Or something. I like that. But, just for this fight, because, as you guys saw, it was, it's like attempt number six now or something. We don't need to keep having you guys watch this over and over again. When we can just win easily by being prepared. Yeah, as you can see now, Jason is actually our most powerful spellcaster. That's because the Geomancer has a higher magic stat than the Red Mages. So in fact, if Fer if one or Ferris actually somehow master a Red Mage before, uh, which they won't, before we, if they get, if one of them somehow gets 100 battle points before we get to the Earth Crystal, which I highly, highly doubt they will, then we will actually have two Geomancers. But until, until then, which again, I, it just won't happen. Uh, not until, um, not until after we get the next job. <laughs> Which we can only hope is something useful. Good crit. Good crit. This is so much more calm. <laughs> Wave cannon. Here too. Ah, this is nice and I probably could have leveled up a few more times, but I don't like grinding in that area because those 
those dark sparks they can take forever if you're not lucky. So And I just wasn't getting lucky fighting them. So I'm happy here. Oh my gosh, it's done. Lena gained a job. She did not gain red level three, she's at red level two. Oh god. So I guess that holds the way in. Sure looks like it. We'll know in a second. You sure will. After we leave. And come back later. <laughs> I really like Jason being the Red Mage, though. So maybe, like... I'll just make it more difficult on myself <laughs> and have him go back to Red Mage and have Ferris be a Geomancer. Because I like Jason as the Red Mage. Because he's the. Uh, it just looks cool. And I don't like. And I. I don't know. I feel bad still for making him ellipse. <laughs> Jason, in case. Um. In case somebody hasn't seen the Dragon Quest Monster from Jeffrey, I was like, can you just pop up a picture on the screen of what you were? <laughs> it's called Ellipse, if you can't find it. L-I-P-S. Oh, man. Poor Jason. <laughs> Poor Jason. And now he's a, a Santa's workshop elf. I don't know, maybe he likes the outfit. I don't know, Jason, do you like your outfit? Okay, well, I guess I'll find that answer out in, like, two weeks, <laughs> when this episode comes up. Oh wow, we're already 30 minutes into this episode, and basically we spent the whole time fighting a cannon. Well, oh, did I go and save? I don't remember, and just in case, I am leaving. I'm, I'm not risking doing this whole thing over again. I love how you kind of just flow, fly sideways on that screen. I don't care. I need to save. I did save. Okay. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Final Fantasy V. Four job hangovers. And next time we will be entering... The Ronka Ruins. See you all then. Godspeed, everyone.